Hello and welcome to my channel here with me Ziad Ibrahim. Today I need to continue in my sensor fusion course. Uh, last lecture we end with strap down inertial strap down inertial navigation. Uh, let's uh, review it quickly. We have two accelerations, x and ay, and we have a, a rotation matrix here, cosine psi and minus sine psi, and we have sine psi here and cosine psi, and we have input another input here, which is the angle. After we made an integration with respect to time of the rate gyro output which is for example let's say omega z yaw rate yaw rate okay and we get we got here this uh, accelerations in the body axis we got the acceleration now in inertial axis here as we see in the last lecture and we make another integration for these two quantities we got the velocity vx and vy Okay, and we make another integration here with respect to time. We got Px position at uh, in the x x position of inertial axis and Py position at in y direction. Okay. We don't forget here to apply the initial condition for the velocity and the position. Okay. So we know all this made inside computer or my controller okay that's why this uh, strap down inertial navigation principles okay okay and uh, now I need to just to make a quick notes here GPS aided INS GPS aided inertial navigation system. Okay, just make a quick uh, comparison between these two. If you use GPS in the navigation or when we use inertial navigation system, uh, what's the difference between these two? Okay, if you use, if you have, for example, a UAV, okay, you can use GPS for the navigation or you can use inertial navigation. Uh, for the navigation for the system so just we make a quick comparison between these two we know the GPS the update rate for the GPS is very low okay so low data rate and here we have high data rate high data rate because all this is computed inside the computer so it will be very quick Okay, depending on your uh, my controller or your PC, or micro PC, and we know the GPS update rate is uh, it depends on the sampling time. Uh, actually, it's one hertz, one hertz, or uh, between five hertz and five hertz and one hertz. This is sampling time for GPS. Okay, and GPS uh, advantage of GPS is giving you direct position measure okay so directly give you a position measure but INS give you indirect in direct position measurement measurement okay as we can see here so we make uh, a rotation matrix apply a rotation matrix for this uh, acceleration in the body axis and we have the the angle for this this supply angle is the yaw angle and we compute ax and ay and make an integration for px and vy we get px py so this indirect calculation for px py uh, but gps give you direct position measure okay and it give you gps direct velocity measure measure okay this give you indirect velocity Measurement, okay. Measurement. 
and we have here in GPS it, it, it doesn't give you any information about the attitude for, for the, the vehicle okay so no attitude <coughs> attitude information information here we have indirect in direct attitude uh, calculation or estimation estimation actually here in the position it's not indirect position measure it's um, I, I can use estimate and here estimate estimate is better than measure okay so it give you indirect position estimate and give you indirect velocity estimate okay we'll see this later here we have all the measurement of the position and velocity in the navigation frame so measurements measurements in navigation navigation frame okay here we have all the measurement measurement in body frame in body frame if you can review the last lecture we have these two accelerations are measured from the accelerometers which is mounted in the body and we have this using rate gyro which is also mounted in the body okay so all these parameters or these quantities are measured in uh, body axis okay uh, let's say the uncertainty is available here and it's available here okay let's go to another think now <clears throat> okay let's continue I need to talk about the GPS INS Kelma filter okay so we know the position measurement uh, are made using GPS and we have the INS which give you the internal model of your motion or your or system we we use the position error sometimes called innovation to derive the INS uh, model into alignment and we have Kelman filter to optimize this innovation gains okay let's uh, quickly see this uh, figure here so as you can see here the GPS uh, so we have a GPS which is a measurement or sensor here which give you a position for this example okay and we have INS here which is the internal model of your system dynamical system okay so we need to, 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 to uh, make a modeling for your vehicle and try to estimate the position from it so you have measured position here which go, uh, come into the sum point and the estimation uh, position we make a uh, subtraction between these two so we have here the position error <coughs> So we have here the position error, which is here in this way, and goes something uh, called innovation. And we have some optimizer here, which is Kalma filter, which is used to optimize this gain to derive INS to be aligned with GPS. Uh, I, I, I I'm talking about the position here. Okay, so we need to make this error here as low as possible, which is zero okay we need to make it zero zero actually okay <clears throat> okay <clears throat> let me write it again here draw need to talk about Kalman filter update So let me make it in a uh, vector notation here, AX and AY, which is measured in the body axis. This vector will go into uh, rotation matrix. 
and we got we have here the psi angle for our example uh, you can see it in the last lecture previous lecture sorry and this is the output for the integration of ray gyro which is omega z okay and we have the integration for this vector which is the inertial uh, inertial accelerations okay we got after the first integration we got here the velocity and we make the integration make it in this way because it's vector because here we have two quantities here okay two parameters okay and we make another integration we got the position okay okay so this will come uh, will be input for the sum point summation point here and this here we have some gain called k okay we have output and this output here will go as input to another sum point here in minus sign and we have the GPS position GPS position this is the measurement now plus and minus from the estimation of this position let me uh, make a hat here because this is an estimate of the position an estimate of velocity this is a rotation matrix so we have pos uh, plus sign and minus sign and the output for this is called innovation or error so this is innovation will be multiplied by this gain k and this the The result will be adding with this position. We will see the, uh, the equations. And now this k will be updated using Kalman filter. Kalman filter. And we know this block here, this one. This block is called inertial navigation system, which will be computed inside computer. Will uh, we have using INS? We have position estimate using these quantities, which is mounting in the body, which is measured from uh, in the body frame. We got this position in inertial frame. We have the position from GPS, and we have position from INS. Here's the point. We have the position from minus. We have the position from the measurement. So uh, this will be adding, or this will be at the output, and will be output in this way. Okay. And uh, this will be the output for the whole system. This is the output for um, estimate of minus, and um, the output for the whole system. This is the output for the whole system will be input. Uh, <clears throat> I will be input here in this summation point okay and uh, as you can see we subtract the GPS position from the, uh, the updated let, let me say this is the update of the position here this is the estimate and this is the updated using Kalman filter okay so we make this subtraction we compute this innovation will be multiplied into K and this will be make a summation with the estimate and this will be um, uh, in the while loop okay as long as you have these quantities this system will be working to find the prediction of the uh, or uh, for the position okay or the state of your INS sometimes it's not just the position it may be uh, you you will be um, you will try to estimate uh, uh, the position and the velocity and some other parameters inside your INS depending on your system what do you want to estimate and uh, you should also 
check some other um, uh, like uh, controllability and observability of your system okay then you need to uh, build an ob uh, observer first okay okay that's all for now we'll see you in the next lecture